Well hello and welcome to the channel. This is about the third time I've come up to the local this week, still getting used to the e-bike and there's just some stuff I want to go through so you can understand why I wanted this and why I actually picked this one in the end. So let's go check it out. So here it is, the Giant Rain E plus one 2022. This is the second best in the lineup. So you've got an E plus zero, about a thousand pounds more than this one. This came in at 6299 love the color absolutely love it so out of all of them this is my preferred definitely uh, and it comes with pretty much the factory as in setup um, just no kashima coating so up front you've got the fox 38 performance elite fork 170 mil of travel at the rear there you've got the x2 performance elite um, so again 160 mil of travel there i kind of mentioned this in a previous video look at the top right you'll see my very first ride on it mega stoked on that still got a 620 watt hour battery um, xt group set 170 mil dropper which i haven't found to be a problem at all and it is a mullet setup so if you don't know what that means it's a 29 inch wheel up front and the 27 and a half at the rear uh dhf absolutely fantastic up front and i've never complained with a high roller too some people will whinge and whine about it but i actually find it to be quite a good tire it's a double d as well so double down nice and thick um, certainly useful for the downhill it is built for the sort of enduro side of riding so what i like here um, is just how sort of basic this is it's out the way it displays the information you need to know and it just it it reduces the clutter in the cockpit which is one of the features that i really liked about this so on the right hand side you've got the battery indicator and that will reduce down in 20 percent increments i don't particularly like that bit i wish on a firmware update that once you get to rather than it just extinguishing at 20% that it would go to red and it would give you an idea that you're at 90, 80 and so on and so forth as it goes down on the right hand side. And on the left there, the green indicates the power modes that you're in. So as I select different ones, it indicates into red to say that you're in turbo, but it also has a automatic mode. When you click that power button twice, it displays a blue LED there indicating that it will try and predict what power mode you need for whatever trail riding you're doing and i find that to be actually quite good but it does drain the battery a lot quicker than using obviously eco and trail mode as required a really good key feature is this just minimalist ride control dial here so up selects a more powerful mode and then you have the down uh, which obviously reduces that and in the middle if you click that and then up you can then get walk assist which if you're struggling to push it up a hill it just gives a sort of slow cadence to help you get up there i love that they've actually sort of integrated it with the hand grip which i think is absolutely phenomenal it just keeps it nice uh, and the ergonomics you, you know completely true and even as far to say as the xt brake there you can see that it's been molded in so that fits really well don't know if that's going to work on every group set out there but certainly works on the shimano range which is great the bars, they came in at 800mm as standard, far too wide for me, so I've already trimmed those down to 780 and that'll be my first run downhill today, uh, riding what I'm used to, so that should be uh, quite a difference when going down those more technical trails. But just pan around the bike itself. You can stick a range extender on here. Um, I'm not looking to buy one of those anytime soon. Uh, what I like in particular is if that battery if I need to buy another one, you can when the stock is available and you can go and buy the 750 watt hour battery straight away, which fits in no dramas at all. So no special attachments or adapters needed. It's just a straight in and out, uh, which I love. I got this from Solent Cycles in Fairham. Um, they did a really good deal for me. So if you're interested in any of the giant range or just bikes in general, then I do highly advise you go over there or at least speak to those guys because they were so helpful. I ordered this while I was away and they kept it in the shop for over a month until I got back. So absolutely fantastic that they did that. Right, enough chit chat. Let's get on the trail and I'll tell you some more stuff. Okay, so let's hit into the first trail. Right, I love how planted e-bikes are. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, that is the weight that does that. 24 and a half kilos this bike comes in at. Brakes are good. Feels a bit of a challenge sometimes for the XT brakes. I can't lie. Especially when it's a bit wetter. It just feels like the weight, it can struggle a little bit, but conditions like today, super strong. Feeling planted all the way. Just 
phenomenal. I mean, not pedaling all the way down there, it's just an enduro weapon. Um, this is why I wanted one, because you just get to the bottom, you still have the wind knocked out of you because it's quite exhausting going downhill still, but you just keep it in whatever mode you need and then go straight back to the top. I'm not one of these that says, oh, I'm getting older, I've got injuries. Yeah, I'm getting older, I've had injuries. Certainly won't use that as an excuse for why I've made this purchase. It's because I wanted one. Um, and I think, you know, if you've got that kind of mindset, let's go and do it. I'm certainly not bothered about what people think, um, which seems to be the case for a lot of people still. I've been riding for 27 minutes and although that's the first trail I've shown you, I've done three trails. You'd just never be able to do that on a conventional bike. So it does offer so much more time on the trail rather than riding to them. God, that's gotta be a bonus, right? Now here's the difference, I'm at the top and you're just good to go again. And because of that, I am gonna go again. So here we go. Tight this is where I struggled with the 800s yesterday. This section here in particular. It gets quite steep and hard down there. You! And then stick to that sort of top line. Cheeky little drop in here. Now what I want to show you in particular here, this is the Ride app. Um, really useful actually to get into the weeds of this to set up your bike correctly. So once you've got it connected, just connect it as per any sort of Bluetooth pairing. I'll connect the bike now. Here we go. And the bike is connected. Once you go back, you then get the options. So straight away, 86% battery. Um, so if you don't get it on the dash, which, you know, because it's in 20% increments, um, you can get an exact on there. But you can go into the actual setup of the bike. So the modes, let's check them out. So sync drive motor tuning. So you've got eco, tour, active, sport, and power. And the only one that's set to 100% on is effectively power. So it's going to give you all the torque, but you can change that. So if you want eco to work at 100%, tour 150, active 200, and sport 300, they're all set to their maximums. Um, but the ones that you saw at the moment, uh, a moment ago, are all set to their defaults. So if you want more of a workout, then obviously reduce that effort that it's going to give you. You can go back. What I like in particular is when you go to ride control, you can actually dim the lights. So if you're doing a night ride, you just dim this here. And you see that that's gone right down. You can effectively turn it off or you can bring it right up. Really like that such a neat feature you can customize the buttons so i've got them set up as default really but if you want to change those and you prefer the modes to work differently then obviously just go through that and work it out and then outside of that you just have really a system check so it will scan the bike make sure it's all correct ride control display the motor the energy pack being the battery make sure it's all working uh, and it's given me free ticks there, no problems at all Bike details, quite useful. Um, if you were to buy one of these secondhand, perhaps, you can see the year, the model, the total mileage, 89 miles already. And importantly, down here, battery health is 100% and charge cycles two at the moment, which is good. So it keeps an absolute register of accuracy so that when you buy one of these, you're not just taking the owner's word for it, that everything's hunky-dory. Um, because like I say, over six grand, uh, they're not the cheapest, so make sure you invest wisely. And this is the magical thing about an e-bike. You just don't get to that point where you're constantly gasping for breath. <sighs> Bit hot there. <laughs> This is quite a gnarly drop, this one, right here. So 
so good though. I mean, QE is just like grown legs since I was last home in November. It's just amazing to see the effort that goes into it all. Here we go. That's the downside, you really feel the weight when you want to put those brakes on. So you just got to tune your mind to work a little bit differently compared to how you'd ride on a conventional. One thing I can absolutely give you, when you turn the motor off, it is honking. It is so heavy to pedal, it's ridiculous almost. So that's the one thing I wish it would give you just when that motor is off, just a more natural pedal feel to it. Turn the motor back on, it kicks in. There you go. Burst back into life and off you go with ease again. But yeah, don't get stuck anywhere on this because uh, you're gonna need legs like Chris Oy to get back. Well, I just want to point out something as I'm going up the hill that I remembered that I had to change. Um, it comes with a flip chip. If you don't know what that is, it gives you two settings on the bottom bracket height. So low and high. Can't give you the numbers off the top of my head, but low was just far too low. It felt really planted, don't get me wrong. It felt like an absolute beast going down the trails, but the downside is pedal strikes everywhere. Uh, even on bits that I'm comfortable pedaling on, uh, pedal strikes and almost binned me a couple of times. So as soon as I put it into that high position, you've got one on this side, it just raises sort of the stanchion here, gets the bottom bracket about 10 mil higher, and then all of a sudden that's game changing. That 10 mil, I've not had a single pedal strike touch wood since. So play around with that geo, get that right, because uh, that could cause you a problem otherwise. So here we go with no rest whatsoever, straight into the next one, which is called minus stump. Real nice one, this. Yeah, when you oh got this blade pheasant there. <laughs> Not running that over. <laughs> Last thing I'm expecting to see. Yeah, that 27 foot wheel on the rear, you can really chuck it around. So much more agile than uh, the 29ers I'm used to riding through and through. Oh, it's low me, all right. Woohoo! 25 kilo bike. Think about it. Ah, wrong bike. <laughs> nice bit of low. I like that. First time, by the way. Okay, here we go. See what I mean about the wallow of the brakes? Quite weird. Let's get a bit of heat into them. And it's not too bad. Oh, hello. Well, that branch. Yeah. 
There you go. Right, this walk assist. So you press this button, then the forward, you feel it move. And then off it goes. Just making it easier. It gets faster as you get faster as well, which I know is quite cool. A lot easier than trying to push 24 and a half kilos up. So look, I hope you've enjoyed what I've done here. It's uh, an impartial review, a ride review, if you like, because it's my bike and I can say the things I love about it and a couple of the things that I um, would like to see improved. And I've done that along the way. Um, I've done about 16 miles today, got about high 40% uh, battery left. So running mostly in eco today. Um, and if I was to do that all the way, it will give you easily that 20 plus miles. I've got in over 3000 feet of elevation, which is just absolutely amazing. And I feel as good now as I did the moment I got here. That's the difference with the e-bike. Um, you don't go back to the car absolutely uh, blitzed and ready to go to bed. So that bike there, 6299 from Solent Cycles, but you can buy it anywhere. You might even get a little bit of a discount if you go to Silent Cycles. Don't ask, you don't get. But I hope you like what you've seen today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, throw your comments in down below, and of course, subscribe over there, press the logo. I would love to see you come up for more content. But until then, I'll see you for the next one.